the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. This is the account of the heavens and the earth when they were created, when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Now no shrub had yet appeared on the earth, and no plant had yet sprung up. For the Lord God had not sent rain on the earth, and there was no one to work the ground. But streams came up from the earth, and watered the whole surface of the ground. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east in Eden. And there he put the man he had formed. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground. Trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life. And the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. A river watering the garden flowed from Eden. From there it was separated into four headwaters. The name of the first is the Pishon. It winds through the entire land of Havilah, where there is gold. The gold of that land is good. Aromatic resin and onyx are also there. The name of the second river is the Gihon. It winds through the entire land of Cush. The name of the third river is the Tigris. It runs along the east side of Asher. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat of it, you will certainly die. The Lord God said, hmm. It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a help suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the sky, and all the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, Ah, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and they will become one flesh. The man and his wife were both naked, and they felt no shame. Hey everybody, I'm excited. I got a new project I want to try out. It's for encouragement, for growth, and edification for all of us. Those who profess themselves to be Christians is to let's read the entire Bible. One chapter at a time for the New Testament, one chapter at a time for the Old Testament. Use the New Testament in the morning, and the, uh, nighttime use the old testament and incorporate it as part of your prayer meaning it just becomes a routine thing with your prayer life so 
what I'm gonna do is by being an example, let's actually go ahead and do that as well. Using them on YouTube. I recommend you do uh, subscribe so you can be notified when the chapter that you need to read comes up and you can go and keep up with it. Subscribe to the channel. You go to the channel and catch up with the ones that you may have missed. But let's let's get it one day at a time, you know. And what I like to do is I'm excited, I think it's the because we really do need to read the Bible for ourselves. Everybody that. And I encourage many of you to do that. The reason I'm doing this is because, like I say, it's titled How to Read the Entire Bible, Read It One Day at a Time with Your Morning Evening Prayer and use an audio book to help you read and pronounce some of those words. Especially when you get into the Old Testament, I'm telling you something else. But also look at this right here. I put down the survey that was done. It was called How Much, it's called Life Wave Research Did It. How much of Bible have you personally read? And you can see 10% none, 13% only a few sentences. 30% several passages or stories, 50% at least half of it, 12% almost all of it, 11% uh, all of it, and 9% all of it more than once. And the reason I don't want you just to read the Bible, I want you to get it, meditate on it, and get that in your heart and your spirit and get revelation that God gives you. So that's why the intent is for you to read these scriptures because you guarantee you you will grow in the things of god and then you'll have to depend on other people to tell you something and then when you go to church sir when the man said let's turn to such and such chapter you can sit and say i did that i read that chapter and, and then you get some more comments on that so that you start to understand what the man is trying to teach but you keep it in content of those scriptures that they come in amen hey I, I think you'll love it. I think I know you'll love it. I know you'll enjoy it because we got to change that stat that we just read. All right. So get ready. Go to the chapter that's up for the day. And don't forget to subscribe. And I guarantee you, we'll be able to knock out the New Testament, uh, I think in about seven months. Listen, it's worth it so you can get to know your Bible and know who you are. Because what the scripture says who you are is more important than what people say that you are. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you and I'll see you. Bye-bye. Look at this right here. This is the Lord's Prayer. This is what Christ taught his disciples, which means that this is something that was for all believers to use. It's just a matter. You don't have to use this verbatim, but it's just something you want to do. You see in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, after this man of death will pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, which is this word, which is what we're reading, will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day, meaning the daily prayer. That's why I encourage you to read the Bible daily, as well as pray daily. Uh, our daily bread, and the daily bread, once again, is the word of God. We ain't talking about loaf of bread, we're talking about the word of God. And forgive us our debts, and we give our debt to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory for every man. For if you give men their trespasses, you have Father also to forgive you. This is a reminder of Christ to tell you, it is important for you to forgive others, for your Father in heaven will forgive you. But if you give men not their trespasses, neither will your Father give your trespasses. So you want to remind yourself daily to forgive those who have offended you. Amen? And just remember 1 Timothy 2, 4, who will have all men to be saved and come to unto the knowledge of the truth. Once again, the knowledge of the truth is the word of God. You don't want it. It, it is no other truth given if you don't have the word of God with you. That's why you want to read it daily. That's why I encourage you to do this, to read the entire Bible over and over again. Romans 14, 12 says, And so then every one of us shall again account himself to God. And God is going to hold you accountable for understanding his word. He's not going to sit there and say, well, you pass it and tell you I got it. No. He's going to sit there and say, I told you to study. I told you to read the word of God. Amen? So that's what we do that. So, but the main thing is we can do this. We can read the Bible, the entire Bible, especially the entire New Testament, uh, one day at a time, one chapter at a time. And I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget, you I do recommend pray daily too, just like Christ taught us to pray. Pray daily. 
and pray his will, pray his word. That's what it is. Therefore, when you ask for things, you should line them with his word. Amen. And he wants you to love one another. God bless. I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribe, every time we bring a chapter out, you'll be notified. Then you go ahead and read that, do that reading for yourself. Amen? All right. God bless you. I'll see you when I see you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.